Y'all, I've been dancing lately. Not a lot, but I'm dancing. Let's see, what was the, uh, what is it called? Burning Down the House. Y'all try not to dance when Burning Down the House is playing. Uh, you can't do it. I danced in a restaurant. I mean, I'm, I didn't mean to, but it just happened. But I mean, the music overhead was Burning Down the House, and I was like, bum, bum. You know, and, and I danced like somebody's grandma and probably really slow and stupid, but I didn't care. I had the urge to dance. Y'all, we got so much to do tonight. I'm going to tell you real quick, if you did not tune in before, please tune in Thursdays at 1 o'clock for my live Kathy Bowes crafting show. We're going to craft till I'm done with the project. Now, it could be a 20-minute project. It could be days. No, I'm not going to. Well, <laughs> I mean, I would. I would totally craft for days. But I'm going to have to sleep and eat in between, right? Um, but yeah, so I've already got some projects starting over there that I'll, I'll point over there because it's the other side of my studio, and you'll see it. You can see behind me, it'll be different on the Kathy Bow Crafting Show Thursdays at 1 o'clock Eastern. Don't miss my crafting show, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Y'all, I've got to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm at like 758. I, I need some more subscribers. If you have some Stampin' Friends, creative friends, please share my YouTube channel, okay? So there's that. Okay, now, my grandson turned 12 on Friday. Could not believe it, but my daughter and her husband and their girls went down and um, Ninja Man and I could not go. And it's a good thing because I was feeling right poorly. He was right poorly, and then I was right poorly. But now we're good. Um, one last thing, and then we'll get to crafting. <sighs> Y'all, this precious, precious uh, stamp, Stampin' Up! customer I have. Um, she's quite a bit older, and she is in an assisted living facility. And um, we were talking today, and I'm telling y'all, she... She told me how much she loves Stampin' Up! And how, how it just touches her life. And, I mean, I was, I was like, tears, right? And she was like, tears. It, and I, was, I said, I get you, girl. I get you. Y'all, this isn't about me selling stuff to everybody that watches my channel. This is sharing. And this is, you don't ever have to buy a thing. But if you do, I hope you get it from me. But here's the thing. It's what I love. It's what we do, right? We just craft and we we just, I make beautiful things for other people. And I love that. Now, speaking of, on my Kathy Bowes crafting show, the plan is I will be auctioning off the item at the end of the show. Yes, Marilyn, thank you. Praise God for the blessings. And I think he gives us, he gives us this creative uh, spirit so that we can help others. Um... But yeah, I'll be auctioning off the project at the end. And if nobody buys it, that's fine. We'll run it back through at a later time. But I don't need any more things to decorate my house or whatever. Um, and I want other people to have it. So that's, you know, but I want to make it. So anyway, that's what we'll be doing. Whew, sorry, I know I rushed through it, y'all. But we got a lot to cover tonight. Oh, there's my head way down there at the bottom. Hold on, there we go. There we go. I'm in the corner. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Uh-oh. Hold on. Hold on. Here's what we're going to be working with tonight. The paper pumpkin boxes. These are the mini boxes. I love these things, y'all. And they come in a package like this. There are 10 for $7.50. They're in the main catalog. And you will find them... Hold on, I put myself a lot of little notes right here. Right here, right here. Okay, we're not using that one. We were going to use it, now we're not. Um, it ought to be right here. Come on now. Oh, <laughs> silly me. Here it is, mini paper pumpkin boxes, and it's on page 152 of the main catalog. Um, so we're going to be using these, and I mean, they're just so stinking cute. And what else? Hold on, please hold. Oh, we are going to be using the note cards and envelopes. They're right here on page 153. So 152 and then 153, boom, boom. Wait a minute, where's my, uh-oh, go that way. There we go, there we go. Um, or was that too far? Might be, there we go. Um, 
So these you get, you get, you get 20 cards and 20 envelopes, and they look like this, okay? And they are, they are basic white, not whisper white anymore. We don't have whisper white anymore, but they're basic white. And they are going to be three and a half by five, and they come with the envelopes, okay? So we're gonna be using those. We're gonna be using Forever Fern. This is a stamp set. And I'm using this because I don't have any stamps to go with that um, hydrangea set, okay? I just have the paper and ink. But um, let me show you that stamp set over here. It's on page 110. It's called Forever Fern. And you see the pretty things we can do with it? And there's actually designer series paper that goes with it. Okie doke. Now... The hydrangea, okay. Oh dear, hold on, please hold. There we go. Whew, y'all. Hydrangeas, okay. This is what we're playing with tonight, and we're gonna make three very different cards. And y'all know I don't have the ribbon that I need because I, I don't, okay. But I found some at um, Hobby Lobby that I'm going to use, and y'all, it's not gonna be white. You see my white ribbon? Check it out. Check this out. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. Oh, okay. Highland Heather is our ink. We're also going to be using Misty Moonlight, Seaside Spray, and Rococo Rose. Either or, okay. So we're going to start with Highland Heather, and I'm just going to open this bad boy up and grab my, my little... Uh, I named it an ink spreader, but really, this is that thing from Pampered Chef. You could use like a credit card or something like that. Guess what I'm about to do? I know y'all know, right? Okay, so I'm going to put it down here because this is going to really saturate, I mean, absorb a good bit of ink. And I want, I want a little purple ribbon for later. So I'm just gonna press it down into the ink like this. Oh, look at this, look at this. And I'm putting it down toward the end because I don't want it to um, affect the, the ink that I need in the middle for stamping. Does that make sense? And look, oh, stop it. There it goes. Look at my ribbon. Now we might, you know, get a little darker. Let's go again. Let's go. Mm, just laid my thumb in it. Okay, okay, hold on. We'll go again. So, y'all, I didn't really get a decent nap today. I didn't. I wanted one, but I didn't get one, which I guess that means I'm going to sleep good tonight, right? I'm going a little bit slower, see if I can get a little bit more on here. And you can do this with um, Stampin' Up! ribbon all day long. All day. Okay, so see, here we go. This is the ribbon we're going to be using. And I went ahead and, cut and uh, colored it now because I want it to dry, right? So by the time we get to that one, how many ribbons do I need? Let's see, I've got one. I could use two. Okay, let's do a second one. Um, what color is that going to be? Ooh, 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 yeah. All right, we're going to put this one up. Now, you see where it just took a little bit of my ink right here. I may be all right, it'd be all right. And if you're watching and haven't commented, please do comment so I'll know you're here and I can say, hey, hey, right? All right, wait a minute. I gotta get a baby wipe. There's not a baby in the house, but there's baby wipes. I guarantee you, there was baby wipes. And now I'm gonna use the baby wipe on my little uh, spreader here. Every time I touch it, I get ink on me. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean it off, okay? Like this. Okay, and then I kinda want it dry because, you know, I don't. I definitely don't wanna put liquid into my into my um, ink. All right, so now we're gonna do this one. And yeah, the end of it's white because I gotta hold on to something, y'all, right? Here we go. This is a very light blue seaside spray. It is beautiful. I love this color, especially on a ribbon. How about this, y'all? It's so pretty. Please hold. I'll show you when I'm done. And you just kind of, any, any ribbon you have, and, and here's the thing, oh, 
hang on, hang on. I got a little crazy right there. I better get crazy with the whole thing. If you press pretty hard, you're going to get it pretty dark. I did get a little crazy right there. Um, if you've got Stampin' Up! ink, thank you, Teresa. If you've got Stampin' Up! ink and white ribbon and you are using it to match Stampin' Up! products, it will be a perfect match, even though you colored it yourself if you use the Stampin' Up! inks. Because that's one of the reasons why I love Stampin' Up! as much as I do. Now, look at these two. Hello. I can't pick it up, y'all. There it is. Look at that. Oh, can you even see? Let's go down. Woo. See? Pretty, right? Okay. Did y'all see how I remembered to zoom back out? I know. I know. Y'all, I'm getting better. I knows it. Okay, so I'm, I'm cleaning this guy off again. And I'm just going to put him out to pasture. Because we're done. Okay, I had to go ahead and clean the... I mean, color those ribbons. We're also going to be using the 1 and 3 quarters inch punch. The 2 inch punch. And like I said, that forever fern set. Okay? Okay. And let's see, the first one we are going to make, let's see what comes up first. Oh, this one, the last one I cut out. Pretty together, colors are gorgeous. Thank you, Teresa and Angela. Oh, guess who didn't get their blocks out? Me. I got a drawer full of blocks over here, y'all. I should use them, right? Okay, so I'm not, I'm not going to go crazy here because how many times do I say go crazy? And let me just tell y'all this. Let me just tell y'all this. When I go to edit these videos for YouTube, first of all, I'm almost a full month behind. Well, I am. I'm a full month behind. Because I say um and so like 50 million times. I think I told y'all that last week. But um, I don't know. So. <laughs> all right. I'm going to grab some... Whisper white because, silly me, I didn't get enough. Or did I? I don't even know. It's probably laying right here. I don't know. I'm going to cut us a piece here. Zing. Okay, I don't even know. I don't know what size it is. I couldn't tell you. Well, I could if I measured it, but I didn't measure it. Right, so this one we're going to use our um, big shot for. Okay, but wait, there's more. We are first going to stamp. Now, I'm trying to decide what colors I want to use. We've got Old Olive. Um, we've got... Um, wait a minute. I'm looking at the French side. I can't read French, y'all. Um, Highland Heather. And that other purple, which really we should use. Please hold. I'm going to say it's gorgeous grape. That's what we're going to go with because we can. You're just being real and that is great. Bless your heart, Marilyn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know how else to be, y'all. I don't. Um, okay. So I'm just going to take this from the Forever Fern. Now, if I had the, the set that goes with the Hydrangea Hill right here, did I say Hydrangea Hill? I don't even know what that is. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> it's Hydrangea Hill. If I had this stamp set right here, I'd be using that. But I don't. So I'm not. And I'm showing you ways that you can use what you got. You can color your own dang ribbon. Okay? You can color your own ribbon. And now we are going to stamp our own little flowers. We're just going to stamp them. Okay? It's going to look good when we all get together. Hold on. Now, I've got a Lazy Susan over here. I think I've told y'all before. Um, my brother was married to a girl named Susan for a while. She was not lazy. But I cannot say Lazy Susan without thinking of her. She was not lazy. She was one of the busiest persons I think I've ever known. Okay, now we're going to stamp in the grape. Now, since I did this color, I mean this piece right here, I'm going to come over here and do that one. And, y'all, I could pull other other of these flowers out if I wanted to. If I wanted to. That's right. When did you just get to do what you wanted to? 
right? Oh, y'all, look at that. That is beautiful. Dang Skippy. Okay. All right, hold on. Oh, and guess who's not crying tonight besides me? <laughs> that dog, y'all. We ha I don't know what happened to him after Hoover passed away, but he just could not contain himself. Wait a minute, that was gorgeous grape, wasn't it? Okay, and then we're gonna do a Rococo Rose. He, after Hoover passed away, I really think, I think Hoover was the top dog, but I really think that, that um, W-I-N-S-T-O-N, Sir, W-I-N, yep, Sir Winston poops a lot. That's his name. I really think that he has just been brokenhearted. Um, now, I did stamp more of it because I'm going to get the middle of it with this little die here. You see, I'm going to get around here and around there and then the middle of that one. Um, but I think he's just been heartbroken because he, he went, he's gone for so long crying every single night and he would not eat well. He, we took him to vet, you know, to see was it his, were his teeth going bad? Because Boston Terriers tend to have certain issues and teeth is one of them. No, he had no problem with his teeth. None. That'll be $55, please. But what what she said was, you know, he might just be dramatic. And we're like, might be? Might be? But yeah, so we finally, they do, Mom, just like we do. They do. They do. They mourn just like we do. Um, we finally found a dog food, and it's probably not top of the list of the healthiest because that's what we've been giving them is healthy, healthy food. But he didn't like it. And we ended up um, giving him this stuff called Caesar. Um, there was a, a man who used to train dogs, and I don't know, he's probably still out there somewhere. But I think I think maybe it's his dog food line. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, so we gave him that. And, y'all, he's been eating well. He's, been, he's not crying at night. So his little tummy is happy. Now, of course, I say that now. The evening is early. It's early in the evening for, to say he's not going to cry. But right now, he's laying over here. He's got his little face buried. And he's happy. He is happy. Now, y'all see, this is the part I cut out down here. I just wanted that, okay? And it, it's going to come together, I promise. It's going to come together. We're going to put that one like that. And do this. All right. Did I, I know I've told y'all this before, but I don't know if everybody's heard it. Um, the, we have some Amish demonstrators and Mennonite, and they, you know, they get together with their friends, and they, they do stamp in and all this stuff, and, and, um, the Amish, of course, can't use anything electric, so I guess they don't do, you know, the heat embossing, but they do love their stamping, cut, and emboss machine. Cats do, oh, cats will take themselves out in the yard and die. Cats grieve big time. Yes, they do. Bless their hearts. Okay, so now we've got, come on out now. I'll show y'all up close. We've got these three little guys, okay? That's what we got. Okay. Yeah, so we um we have decided, um we just think he's been in, in grief and grieving for Hoover. And now he's uh, he's just doing better, y'all. He's doing better over the last few days, and we are very thankful. Okay, so this is our little note card. You know, it's smaller. Let me show you a regular size card. This is a regular size. This is, um, oh, Caesar Millen, yes, or Milan, whichever. Teresa, my cat died of a broken heart a year after the other died. Oh, Marilyn, love those colors. Yes, I do too. These colors, you know, I've been thinking about my sister so much, my older sister who passed away in June of 2017. And I think it's because of this suite. 
every time I look at it, I'm like, that is Carol. Okay. Um, so this is the kind of card, the, uh, four and hang on, eight and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's four and a quarter this way, five and a half that way. And then this one is, um, three and a half by five. So it's just, you know, a little smaller. And what you can do is make a gift box full of cards for people. All right. So we're going to go pretty simple with this one. And I don't know why I didn't think I needed glue, y'all. I'm just like messing around over here. No glue. Oh, come on now. Is, oh, this is the stubborn one. I forgot about that one. Hold on. Yeah, I get rid of that one right there. Get rid of that one. Kicked him out. I put him in timeout. And here we go. If I'm missing your comment, I'm sorry. I can only look up now and then. And if you're watching and haven't commented, please let me know you're here. I won't tell anybody, I promise. Just send a note and say, hello. Okay, so that's simple. Just laid it right on there. And then this strip. Oh, what do we do? Ooh, let's turn it this way, okay? Because it is the back side of that. So these are the same exact colors somewhere in that little flower, okay? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put this right here and zip. And then we're just going to put these little guys. And the idea here is to have a quick and easy set of cards that you can make and give to folks. To folks. And, you know, you could pop these up if you wanted to with dimensionals. Oh, wait, we need to position the, the middle one first. Um, yeah, you want to position the middle one first. Let me, let me figure out about where the middle is. So, two and a half. Yeah, right about here. You know, we don't have to get scientific about it. I don't think anybody's going to be measuring. If they're going to be measuring, they don't need to get free cards. Right? Right. If they're that tookie. As my mother-in-law used to say, Tukey. She'd say, that's just Tukey. She also said things like, um, when she was, <laughs> instead of using foul language, she would say, shoot a monkey. I don't, need, I don't even know. I, I don't know where that came from. Okay, we're going to turn it this way. Because I'm thinking all the poor monkeys. All right, so this is, this is how that one's turning out, Okay. And what we're doing, we're just kind of playing on all these colors. And this this um, Rococo Rose here, while it does not, there's no Rococo Rose in here, it does coordinate. It's the same color family or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. All right, so I think we're going to put just a simple greeting. Wait a minute. Hang on. I've set something down, y'all. Please hold. Please hold. Let's see if we want to do this. Let's see. Do we want to use... Oh, goodness, y'all. Isn't that pretty? Y'all, we're going to have to put that right there. Love the little squares. I'm doing that. Yay, Lisa. Marilyn. Mine is horse feathers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, horse feathers. Yeah, I'm going to just put this piece of ribbon right across this, y'all. We're going to go like this. Seems like I'm doing it really carefully, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Going to lay this guy down here because I really like it there. Let me make sure we didn't go over the top. We didn't. We're good. I'll put this here. I, I mean, that just finishes the card, y'all. And then I'm going to go to the back. Now, you could, if you wanted to, you could fold both ends over. But I don't like to do that where you see the ends. Because, like, when they open the card, you don't want them to see something unfinished, right? So, there's our card. Isn't that just so sweet? Okay. And we need an envelope. So, let's do this. Let's take that beautiful purple that we used, the gorgeous grape. And I'm going to... There's a couple of ways you can do this, okay? Um, you can take the flap of your envelope doesn't matter doesn't matter what what um uh, 
What am I saying? Doesn't matter which envelope. It could be the full size, you know, the big card that I showed you, or it could be one of these. And we're just gonna go crazy right here with a whole bunch of, 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 uh, <laughs> a whole bunch of tape. All right? And then we're gonna lay this down here right up to the fold. Okay, and then we're just gonna go boop like that, turn it over and cut. Now, I don't usually finish my envelopes, y'all. And we are gonna have a sentiment on the front of that card. We're not quite done. All right, and I'm gonna show you how to do this on both sides. Okay, and now, if you're giving something like this as a gift, you want to use Terran tape. I have two kinds. I have the Dollar Tree kind, which is a dollar. And then I have the Stampin' Up! kind right here, which is not a dollar. Um, but I'm just going to show you whichever tape you have. Tear and tape is what it's called. You just put it across here because let's say I'm, I'm giving this as a gift. Well, I want them to be able to seal the envelope and not be confused with where did the adhesive go, right? So there you go. All they gotta do is peel that strip. And if you think maybe they're not gonna figure that out, you write peel with anything but what I just used because you can't see it. All right. <laughs> okay, so on the back over here, there's a couple of things you can do. You can either put your paper here and make it pretty on the outside with that, or you can take that stamp that we used earlier. I'm just showing you the variation. I wouldn't do both of these, you know, like I'm doing. Um, oh, and oh, what was that? Oh, 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 y'all, I can't remember. Oh, anyway, I'll try to remember something important before we, before I get gone. Y'all know what that's like, right? I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, and you could use washi tape. You can use whatever you want. I need a bigger block. Please hold. Believe it or not, I do have a plan. Okay. So I'm going to make sure he's on the fold by pushing my paper up to it. And y'all know I've used these masks before, right? Well, that's kind of what this is about. We're masking it off. Oh, boy. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get this turned around in my hand. It's a big block, y'all. I don't have tiny hands, but I'll tell y'all what. That right there was, was for real. Okay, now I want to put just a little more right here. Just a little more right there. Okay? And that is the flap of my envelope. Okay, and then when they open it, they'll have that pretty stuff, right? With the card. Now, we'll do the card. We'll finish the card. Oh, wait. I think I'm going to use this again. Let's see. Oh, we'll put this guy over here. My husband got my um, Simply Chamois out for me. He put the water on it because I was a little busy. He did that for me, but I need more water. I need a little bit more. So, okay. Ooh. All right. Gonna put that in here. And we have a little greeting. We got two greetings. One. This one says hello. I think we'll use... Let's see what this one says. Oh, maybe we'd rather have this. Yeah, let's do this one. To a friend that makes me smile. These are the ones we're going to be doing in a minute, y'all. Okay, so we'll put this here. Hmm. Okay. And white cardstock. And down in here. Okay. Need a block. Here we go. Gonna stamp this in this bold purple over here. Gonna just stamp it there. Okay. To a friend that makes me smile. Isn't that sweet? 
as opposed to the one that says, to a friend that makes me cuss. No, I'm teasing. I'm just teasing you. Just teasing. Don't get excited. Boop. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, no, it'd probably be a family member, right? Not a friend. Because <laughs> you can get rid of a friend. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was terrible. Terrible. All right, we're going to bring out some Rococo Rose paper. Oh, I'm sorry. That punch was one and three quarters. Boop. Uh-oh. There we go. One and three quarters. All right. This one is two inches. Just a quarter inch big or just a quarter inch. Here we go. I like to go to the very edges because I'm chintzy like that, y'all. Okay. So we are going to just test it and see if we like it. I think we do. Oh, y'all. I think we do. What do y'all think? Right? Okay. Okay. And I know this paper's a little busy, and that's why we're doing something different. And if I lay this this shirt into that ink, we're going to have a situation. I'm going to have to be like, I can't believe I did that. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. And right here, we're just going to eyeball it to get it centered and put it on here. Maybe over here. Uh, I think I'll go right here. I don't know. Um, see, I'm kind of interviewing it right now. Some friends don't get cards. <laughs> That's right. Just frugal. Yes, Michelle, you're exactly right. Frugal. And honestly, I like to be a good steward of what I'm blessed with. Right? Okay, so I'm kind of centering it under, under this little guy here. Okay, so we've done a lot more to this card than I had planned. So let's just let's just put it in here and, and see how things go. I'm just going to put the back of it in here so that y'all can see the whole plan. Okay? All right. There's one. <laughs> i got to go a lot faster with the next two. Oh, this one's so quick and easy. So quick and easy. This says, hello. 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 Now, here's the fun part. We're going to hope that I don't mess up. All right? Everybody hope with me that I don't mess up. Come here. Come here, blue. Okay. I got to get me a little a little um, block. Boop. And what color do I want? Ooh, I think I want to use... I don't know if I could use the blue on the blue, but we're going to try it. We are going to try it. If it messes up, guess what? I'll flip it over. I'll flip up. I'm going to flip it over. <laughs> if it messes up, I will stamp something over it. Okay. I got to get in here, y'all. Here comes my head and my little bald spot. Y'all, when I had surgery, my hair fell out. And um, I got I got a comb over going right now. Because <laughs> I'm trying to be pretty. <laughs> I should have gotten up a whole lot earlier today to be pretty. Hold on. Oh, I do love that. Look at that. Hello. Hello. Okay. There we go. I wish I wish this would come clean a little faster, Ninja Man. That's all right. Let's be thankful. Now, where do we want to put the ribbon? Oh, I think up top, y'all. I do. I think up top because we're not going to put ribbon on the other one. Oh, oh. I th I'm going to try this. Because I don't want to get um, I don't want to get my adhesive on my paper here because then I'll be fighting with it the rest of the evening. So I'm gonna use my silicone craft sheet by stamping up. <laughs> and I'm gonna put snail baby. Oh dear, no, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. No. <laughs> it's not happening. All right, hold on. We can do this. Here it goes. Here it goes, here it goes. All right. So, I got a little a little bit of snail right there, okay? Oh, hello. Might have a lot more than I thought. I'm going to try and go straight. We'll see what happens. If it's not straight, y'all get your money back, okay? <laughs> y'all get a full refund. There we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, there's a little bit left, but hey, we can fix that. Now, I got an option. I can bend this back like this. 
but I'm not going to have a whole lot going on here. But let's just go ahead. Let's just go ahead and bend it back so I don't have to even think about it. There we go. Uh-oh. There we go. And here we go. We're almost done with this second card, y'all. That first one took too long. Okay. And then, if you get glue where you don't want it, not that that's ever happened. <laughs> if you get glue where you don't want it, all you got to do is use this little um, glue eraser. And just zip it right through. All right. There you go. And it comes right off, y'all. And, um... What, what do y'all think of this ribbon? I mean, seriously, is that not the coolest thing? Okay, then we're going to go right here. We're going to put that on there. And now, again, you could pop this up with dimensionals if you want. Or leave it as is. And this is making me think I need to buy the hydrangea stamp set just so I can make everything totally together. All right, we're going to go right here. Okay, there we are. Get this out of the way. Bring this. Oh, dear. Let's use that side. Yes. See what happens when you have a boo-boo? Here's my boo-boo. There's my boo-boo. How many people going to show you their boo-boo? I just did. All right, so then we're going <laughs> to. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I've even got my fan on, y'all, and I'm in here. Maybe I need to take off my, my heat vest, right? Oh, hey, Barbara, I'm so glad you could join us. We're making the, um, <laughs> we're making the note cards and envelope, um, cards and envelopes. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can do this, y'all. I can do this. I'm trying to cover up a boo-boo. Okay, Whew. All right, so the, have I got ink on me? There we go. There we go. We got a little problem over here in here, Houston. Houston, we have a problem. I'm not worried about it. It matches. I'm not even, not even. Zip this guy right here and here. And let's see what we want to do with his card, with his envelope. Let's just do this way. Um... Now, all of this coordinates, right? But I kind of want it the same, the thing. The same. And I'll see if I can get it the same. I may not be able to, y'all. I don't know. Oh, oh, that's pretty. Oh, let's use this. That's really pretty on there. This is the striped, the striped, um, Heather, uh, Highland Heather. <laughs> Okay, I think I want it to go this way. I don't know why, y'all. I don't. We're going to go that way. Now, this is the outside of the envelope only. Only is okay. Thank you, Barbara. Go like this and around like this. And that first one that I did, you're not going to want to do all that to one envelope. I wasn't even thinking about maybe we'll do the second step to a different envelope. Oh, dear. Please hold. And right here, boop. And um, those of you who are kind of just now coming in, or if you were late joining or whatever, I do um, Kathy Bowes Crafting Show on um, Thursdays at 1 o'clock um, Eastern Time. And I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Woo -woo. That's right. Oh, now, there we go. Okay, and my YouTube channel is the same name as this as this page. Okay, so I'm just I'm just cutting it like this, okay? And they've got their adhesive still on the envelope. You don't have to use the um, the sticky tape, the tearing tape. And um, by the way, Stampin' Up now, as of February second, is today the second? Let me look at my calendar again. It is. Um, that's the one, and you don't want to miss it. Oh, sorry, I'm late. What paper? This is Hydrangea Hill. Barbara, this is the, um, I'll see how quick I came out with that. Aren't y'all proud of me? Because usually I'd be like, I have no idea it's in a catalog. <laughs> Hydrangea Hill. Um, yes, and 
Okay, so as of today, y'all can order all the Hey Chick stuff from me. All of it. Look how pretty this is. Can't we just talk about how pretty that is? All right. Now this last one, y'all. This last one is, it's the last card, but I'm hoping we'll have time to decorate our box. Um, unless I keep hiding all the cards from myself. And, oh, there it is. Okay. Whew. This one is so pretty. We are going to use all the things. Well, not really. But, where's my paper? Here it is. Oh, dear. Y'all, I got a cheat sheet over here, and I quit looking at it. I don't even know what happened in between. I do not know. Okay. So, we have this paper here that looks gold right now. Barbara, this is the sweet, the Hydrangea Hill. And I don't have the stamps or the dies or anything, really, except for the um, glass acetate, the mercury glass acetate, which is this. Look at that, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? And it's silver on the back. And if you order this, there is a protective sheet, a little plastic sheet. You will swear there isn't. You will, you'll be like, there is no sheet on mine. There he is. You just got to keep digging for it. Y'all know how I found it? My scary dental tool. I did. Bum, bum, bum. So this, um, this Hydrangea Hill Mercury Glass Designer Acetate. There are two colors. This one is Highland Heather and the other one is Rococo Rose. I don't, yeah, I did. I, I was thinking I didn't pull it, but I did. Here it is. Oh, come here. Or is that all Highland Heather? Ooh, that's bright. Okay, this one's Rococo Rose here. And then this one is, yes. Oh, you're welcome, Barbara. And Marilyn, gorgeous. Yes, it is. Love that acetate. I'm telling you. And I mean, you know, you only get four sheets for $11.50. But let me tell you this. You use just a little. It goes a long way, y'all. It. I wouldn't woof you. I wouldn't woof you. Now, I, I normally would not use the whole thing as a background, but I think I'm going to. So, I'm going to use, um, I still have snail adhesive left, but you could use your um, Stampin' Seal. Y'all see how I said that word? I know, I'm just like, what is this tonight? I know all the things. Wow. Is it a full moon? I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, I'm going to put this. This is exactly the size of the front of my card, which is three and a half by five. And um, somebody tell me if you can mail a three and a half by five. I really think you can. But I don't want to tell y'all that. And then you find out that, you know, I was teasing. <laughs> okay, first of all, that's just cool. That's just cool. For whoever, I'm thinking teenagers would love that. Um, you know, adults would love that. Anybody would love that, right? We're going to put this like this. I don't know. I don't know if I like that anymore. Hold on. Let me look at my... Oh, I remember what I was going to do. Yeah, but I'm not going to do that now. Okay. So, I think what we're going to do is get this little punch out. It's a triple banner punch right here. And all I'm going to do is slide this guy up in here. See? He's a half inch wide. And I'm going to center him and then whack it. Whack it off! And this one, the same thing. Let's see. Let's do... Yeah, let's do... Hmm. We're going to make it that long. <laughs> no full moon, just a cold winter night. All right. I don't even know how long that is, but that's how long we're doing it right there. Okay, and then this one will be this long. Okay, no measurement necessary, but you do need a clean, a, a clean cut there. Okay, and and it might be a little crazy. We might need to do something a little different from my design. Let's see. We are going to put them on there. Pull them on there and... We're using the snail zoom and the snail zoom. 
we're going to put, let's see if we want to go this way. You know what? I might. See, is he too long? Hold on. Oh, let go. Okay, yes, yes. We're going to go this way with this one. I don't remember. Did we do that? Well, I did. I did that with all of them, but you don't have to. You can go that way. But for some reason, I just think it looks better this way right now. And then this one. We're going to stagger them just a little bit. And there you go with that one. Those two little flags, okay? And then we're going to use this with the small... This is the 2-inch. Punched off of the 2-inch. Yeah, I'll use that side. And our greeting is to a friend that makes me smile. Again, you know, who's going to have a friend that does not make them smile? My friends make me smile. Okay. Here we go. Y'all, this is so pretty. That is just so pretty, isn't it? And that is out of the Forever Fern set right here. To a friend that makes me smile. See? And, you know, like I said, I think I need the Hydrangea Hill stamps to go with my paper. I didn't buy them, and now I'm thinking I should have. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Put that right there. Okay, so now I'm going to pop out just the one and three quarter inch. Boop. Y'all, I love a good punch. I buy punches quite often. Pretty much if Stampin' Up! comes out with a punch, I'm going to get it. Because they're, they're so quick and easy to use. Alright, so let's see how we like this. You know what? We might look at this just a minute. Oh, y'all, look how easy. Oh, dear. I left something behind, but that's okay. I'm going to show y'all what we're going to do. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, poop. Hold on. Don't do it backwards. Yeah, it got a little busy there. So I want to do something just a little different. I'm going to put... These flowers kind of look like they go a certain way, so I'm going to put them like that. And we'll put our flags back on there in a minute. Y'all don't get sad and missing them. To a friend that makes me smile. Boop. Okay, so what I'm going to do... That's a half inch, so I'm... Oh, dear. I'm about to cut the envelope. Y'all, don't let me do that. I'm just trying to get us a little something right here that, to work with. Because I changed my design midstream. Let's see. Okay. Boop. All right, so I'm going to get us um, three-quarter inch or somewhere like that. And I think I might have enough, but I don't know. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. And this is the cutest little guillotine cutter, trimmer, whatever ish. Okay. Whack. Okay. Whew. Now. Uh, oh, put it back in here. If y'all could see my desk, I have... These are Ikea desktops, and they're glass. And I have um, drawers that I had custom made. Don't be impressed. It's the only thing custom around here. Um, <laughs> but I had them custom made because um, I needed drawers, okay? And now I peeled these up, and now I'm just putting more adhesive on them because I like that white against here. Can y'all see what I'm doing? I'm just going to lay it on here, right in the middle, like this, okay? And then I'm going to trim it right across the top, like that. Oh, I like that so much more. Um, but yeah, so I had these drawers custom made, and they are, they are great. I've got all of my punches just under this desktop. So cool. So cool. Okay, here we go. Boop. All right. And now we're going to put this guy on here just like we did the other one. And there, there's a little there's a little distress right here, but it's okay. It's all right. He's going to be just fine. 
gonna be just fun. Now this one's a little longer, or is it shorter? I don't even know anymore. We're gonna have to make it just a wee bit shorter. Whack! And we're gonna do this. I'll be so surprised if this works. Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> I hadn't even laid it on there yet. Oh dear. Let go, let go. Boom, boom, boom. Scary dental tool. Here we go. Whew, y'all. That had me going for a second there. Okay. All right, I'm trying to line it up at the top, y'all, right, right here. Okay. All right. Goodness gracious. It's, been easy. Mm, it's not perfect. It's probably okay, but y'all, we've come this far together. We have come this far. Don't jump out of the boat yet. Okay. Now, how did they get to be the same size? I don't know, but I'm going to leave them. I am going to leave them because of the terrible things that happened to my paper right there. Y'all want to see terrible? There it is right there. Okay. It's all right. They can be the same size. They're twins. Okay. Now, you see why I put the white around it? I just think it really helped a lot because th these got lost behind on this. Okay, so this one's finished, and, you know, we would decorate however. You could just put a few, let's do this. I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to show you. Uh, again with the big block. Okay, and we will use, let's use, let's just use this right here. I'm going to show y'all something that makes the envelope pretty. I don't need the big block, do I? Maybe this one. Yeah, that one's good. So, let's see. Our color is definitely with the with Highland Heather Gorgeous Grape. I'm going to use... Uh-oh. So sorry. Oh, my heavens. I have just lost myself. There I am. Agree. The white makes the strips pop off the... Yes, they do. It looks so much better, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm going to use Highland Heather. And I know these are leaves, but hey, there's no stamping police. Now, this is the outside of the envelope. I want to make sure which way my flap's going. And I'm just going to put this here. I stamped off once, and then I came in and put my, my leaves on. Okay? There we go. You can do this with any of your envelopes, any of your leaves. And I normally don't spend a lot of time, you know, decorating the insides or the um, envelopes, but I wanted y'all to see tonight what it would look like to get these as a gift in a little box. Okay, we got just a couple of minutes. If you have to go at nine o'clock, that's fine. I'll post a picture of the finished box, but I am going to make the box while we're here. If you can hang out, that would be cool. Okay, so you know the paper pumpkin boxes are food safe, right? And, I mean, we don't really need them to be food safe because we're going to use them, y'all. We are going to use them for cards. But if you wanted, oh my goodness, y'all, these are the cutest boxes. And we are just going to do something so sweet to the outside. I'm going to keep y'all guessing, because you know what? I'm guessing, too. I'm guessing right with you. We call it Happy Mail. And Marilyn says, congratulations. See what y'all get when you hang out with me? If I have to go late. I mean, you know, later. And don't forget, Thursdays, 1 o'clock p.m. And if you can't catch me live for Kathy Bowe's Crafting Show, be sure and come back and watch the replay. So I'm laying these in here like this, just so y'all can, you know, you would probably put them in the, no, well, I'll tell you what you would do. You would put the envelope behind the card like this, all right? And this envelope behind its little card like this. This is so sweet. And you're gonna make six, okay, or eight. You can choose, you know, if you want to make this, you would choose another design maybe because this will keep holding, I mean, y'all, it's going to hold easily eight cards. 
maybe 10. I don't know. I've got, I've got some really cool stuff to share too, because I've already been crafting. Oh wait, this goes like this, and then this goes like that. Now, did y'all notice I did not have to use any adhesive to uh, keep this thing together? It's a true story. Now, nobody likes a plain old white box. No, who likes it? Nobody, okay? So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. We are gonna get a little crazy. A little crazy. Let's see. Um, we're going to need, let's see now. I don't know if I should, yeah, I guess I should. Should do it where you can remove it easy. I know, I know what we'll do. I know, I know. Oh, Teresa will be there too. Yay, Teresa, thank you. Do we wanna use this? I don't know. Or maybe. I really do love this seaside spray, y'all. We're going to do this. Okay, so let me get my little... Just hang in there. But like I said, if you can't hang, I'll post a picture later. But you won't know how I made it because you weren't here. That's one inch by five and a half. Okay, one by five and a half. Let's write that down because we're going to start cutting here in a minute and I'll get crazy. One by five and a half. Do one, two, three of those. And this is five and a half by three and three quarters. And we need two of those. And this is probably one and a half again. I mean, one by five and a half. No, by three and three quarters. Yep, one by three and three quarters, and that is one, two of those, two of those, two of those, yeah. Okay, okay, I know what we're doing. How about it? So this, we're just gonna do our one inch on our guillotine. If he's, he may not be long enough. I don't know, let me see. Would y'all believe, I mean, Look at this, just random. Look at that. That is like perfect, right? Love it. Okay, so we got one of those. We need two like that. The one inchers, we need two. I know there are probably some math people out there that are going, you should do this or that. I didn't like math then, and I don't like math now. But I love you guys, so if you're a math person, I am happy, happy for you. All right, now we need a, uh, two more of these because we're going to cut them at three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. Let's see. What did I say? One. Yep. Yep, yep. So, um, y'all, we started watching a movie. Okay, there's this thing called Wanda WandaVision. The math scares me. Me too, Angela. That's why we are such good writers, right? <laughs> I should say why you are such a good writer. Um, but now I can't read my my marks on there, so I gotta come up here. Um, we started watching WandaVision, and y'all, it I didn't even know who Vision was. So my husband's like, Well, you gotta watch the Avengers. And I'm like, Do I have to watch the Avengers? Y'all, it was really good. And we're too pretty for math. math. Yes, we are, Barbara. Yeah, baby. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm, he turned it on, and I'm sitting there watching it, and I'm like, is there another one? He's like, oh, is there? But I hadn't seen the other ones yet, y'all. This is the three-quarter, and this is the three... Oh, wait a minute. Three and three-quarter. <laughs> there I go. There I go. Okay, they match. And then this guy here needed to be... I need two of them that are five and a half by three and three quarters. Let's see what happens here. There's five and a half by three. I don't think, yeah, I, it ain't gonna work out. Well, you know, should we even cover the bottom? Let's don't. Oh wait, we're not finished. Okay, so I got that. Now I gotta do these. So, yeah, so now I wanna watch all the things. Let's see, this should be one inch. Okay, I need three. I don't even know what I need, y'all. Let's see. 
one inch. So I, I guess I guess I'm an Avengers fan now, y'all. Who knew? Who knew? About five right here. Oh, I bet this is six. This isn't five. This is six. It needs to be five and a half. Five and a half. Five and a half. Okay, and, uh-oh, I made it too big. Did it come out in a Western? Um, oh, wait, wait. The girls at work have been talking, oh, hey, Laura, about WandaVision. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It takes you kind of back back in the day. You need to watch Wish Man on Netflix. Huh, okay, Wish Man. You know I have to write it down. Because otherwise, I don't know why I started cutting these the exact same size, y'all. Because I needed to go three quarters, okay? So, by five and, let's see, five and a half. We'll do five and a quarter. Boop. Okay. Five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. Yeah, so um, WandaVision's kind of cool. Um, it's, I think they've made, they've released three of them. Now, it's no Mandalorian, let me tell you that. It is no Mandalorian, but it's really good. It's really good. Okay, so I got, I need, why did I need three of those? I don't even, I don't even oh, yeah, I do. Okay, um... I need three quarters. See, I'm going down a quarter, y'all, on this paper. Because I want my seaside spray to show. Five and a quarter. Come on now. There we go. Um, yeah, so WandaVision is really, really good. Really good. But it looks like when it first comes out, it looks like they're in the witch's house from the old Bewitched. And then, as it progresses, you think they're in um, Dick Van Dyke Show's house and Bewitched. And then they're in the Brady Bunch house. It's weird. It's, it's funny. I mean, it's, I don't think, I don't know if it's funny. It's just kind of quirky and weird. Five and a half by three and three quarters. Let me make sure I get this one right, y'all. It needs to be like this. So this this part. I know y'all gonna be like, what is she doing? Alright, this would be the three and three quarters. So we're gonna go with three and a half by five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. And I know I left something out, but we'll see. We'll see what it is. I think it's the side pieces. Pretty sure that's what I've left out. We shall see. And we might just leave those off until later. Now, see, even the back of it, y'all. I even like the back. So we're just going to do this. Boop, boop. And put this here. And y'all may not know this, but I have a lot of cats. Okay, here's the story about my cats. None of them live with me. None of them. Everybody on the internet that has a cat, it's my cat too. Because I can't have a cat, y'all. I cannot. Ninja Man says he's allergic. He really is. Um, he's allergic to cats and real Christmas trees. So if I bring a, a Christmas tree in here and let a cat climb up it, he's just, yeah, he's going to have to sleep out in his truck. He, he's going to have to sleep in his truck. And we don't want that to happen because he's too sweet, right? So... All right, y'all, we're getting there. We're getting there with our box. Already, don't we love it? I mean, we, you could leave it just like this, but no, no. We're going to get even fancier. We're getting fancier with our pants here. Fancy pants. Oh, come on now. What did I do? What did I do? Stella. Okay, here we go. Oh, too wide. Uh, well, I don't know. A little of it shows. Now, that's bigger. 
Y'all, I don't even know. Oh, let's see what I did. Please hold. Those two go together. Ah, <sighs> y'all. But, um, The Mandalorian, I don't know if y'all watched that, but if you haven't, that's the one with, um, we like to call him Baby Yoda. I don't care if they tell us to call him Grog or whatever they named him. He's Baby Yoda. And I'm not calling him the child because, I don't know, I think of the birth of Jesus when I hear of, when I hear that. And, and that's so far different. So I don't want to call him the child because, I don't know, it just doesn't, it doesn't sound like he should be called that. Um, so he's always, he's always going to be Baby Yoda to us. We are big fans of the Yoda, the Baby Yoda. Okay, y'all, so here we are here and here. I mean, who would not love this? Put it over here. He's a goner. That's what I was thinking. Yep. I'm reading comments. So is anybody here that hadn't commented? Because I need to know you're here. And the comments help me too on Facebook. Because um, those meanies in charge of Facebook, they're like, oh, she has nice comments. Y'all, I watched this one um, Facebook page that they just go on just out of the blue. They just decide they're going to go live, and they go live, and they got 3,000 people on there. Now, I don't think I could keep up with that, and typically they have somebody else reading their comments, and I, I realize when I go back that I miss a lot of comments. I don't mean to. Y'all, this is really coming out pretty, isn't it? Oh, dear. What's going on here? I might have to cut again just a little bit, just a little bit. That's the only one I missed. And y'all see what I did? I measured them like the one by five and a half is the is the seaside spray layer. This one. I may need to buy this paper now. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I know, right? I know, Barbara. I know. Um, but what I did, I just where it says one by five and a half, I took that down to three quarters by five and a quarter for my next layer. Really, if I wanted it to be perfectly like, you see how this is pretty much perfectly the same amount? Well, I didn't do it that way because I wanted the length to be a little bit, it's an eighth of an inch instead of, instead of a quarter. Okay. Whatever that means. It's math. I don't know. I just like to make pretty things. I like to make pretty things. Now, um, Barbara, I don't know if you saw where I did my ribbon tonight. You probably already know this. Matter of fact, one of our girls talked about it the other day. Um, where you just run white ribbon through your ink. I love the box. Thank you, Teresa. So cute. Thank you, Laura. Um, yeah, we're just going to leave the bottom. We're just going to leave that because who would expect that? Oh, I know what I didn't do is that part right there. I may not... Who says I am here? Lisa, hey, hey. Um, yeah. So, there we go. And, you know, we can we can do something pretty on the top. But I'm going to leave it like it is right now. I'll probably put a little something, something on the top. And I want to spend just a little bit more time figuring that out. But um, if you missed it earlier, I took this white ribbon here. And I just ran it through my ink to make this purple card. Greg just laughs. He's a math guy. Hey, he's my go-to math guy. If I need math and Ninja Man can't do it, I'm calling Greg. I'm going to dial 911 and see what happens. I'll get Greg. Okay, see? So we've got the, the blue here and the purple here. All I did was take white ribbon and run it through the... Um, ink. And that's our other card that we did. And here's its envelope. Just all I did was uh, stamp off once with the Highland Heather and then stamped on the envelope. So it's so soft looking. So that says to a friend that makes me smile. And if y'all do this, just be sure you use some white underneath because it did get lost on the, on the paper at first. 
This is to a friend that makes me smile. You can have two friends that make you smile, y'all. And the difference, so if you're going to line your envelopes, y'all remember to, to put this on here. Looks great. I color my ribbon all the time. I never have the right color, but I always have white. That's me, Marilyn. I, I mean, I, I loved, oh, Barbara said that. Yes. Um, yes, Barbara, that's what I do. I just don't buy all the different colors of ribbon. I may buy different ribbons uh, where it will be um, textures, you know, different textures. But as far as color, nah. And then we have this one. I love this. Yeah, I don't know why, y'all. I just love it. Michelle says gorgeous. Laura says love the cards. Missed the first hour. Um, ju just go ahead and, and replay when you can, Laura. We I'd love to have you uh, see what all's there. So I'll do something fancy here and post it on my page. And y'all be sure and uh, listen out for Kathy Bowes Crafting Show on Thursdays at uh, 1 p.m. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. And if you're seeing this on YouTube as a replay, please go back to Facebook, Kathy Bohannon Creatively Blessed, and subscribe there. Okay, thank you guys so much. God bless you, and thanks for hanging out. Thank you. Love y'all. Toodles.